Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. This tutorial is a very intense smoky eye, especially on the outer corners there and on the lid I have a very pretty shimmery lilac -y color. If you want to see how I did this look then just keep on watching. So before I start with the actual eye makeup, I like to prep my eyelids and this time I use the NYX High Definition Eye Shadow Base and this is transparent and I set it afterwards with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I use for this step the brush from Real Techniques, it's the setting brush. Next I took for the actual makeup the Too Faced Bulletproof 24 hour shadow liner and this is in purple rain. I did like a smoked out outer corner and I used a Real Technique smudge brush to smudge this liner. I also went two or three times over the same area and smoked that out. My crease shadow is from MAC, it's called Soft Brown and I worked that over the entire crease area with this brush from Ziva, it's the 228. Next I took a matte black eyeshadow from Stargazer and I put that over that purple with a brush from Ziva, this is the 224 Lux Defined Crease brush. I use patting motions to really pat this color into the skin. I wanted this outer corner to be very intense and black. I also didn't cover entirely the purple underneath, I used it as a transition color for the next um, eyeshadow I used for the lid. I kept the outer corner shape quite rounded, I didn't uh, go too far outside the eye socket so not in a flick like I normally like to do, um, th so this was a bit of a challenge for me. Um, I used here again that same soft brown from MAC to soften out the line of that black. Then the star of the show is this eyeshadow, definitely it's from Art Deco in the number 83. I pat that into the skin with a Ziva brush. It's my trusty 234 Lux Smoky Shader. I covered almost the entire eyelid with this eyeshadow, I wanted it to be quite dominant and I also softened out the edges with the same soft brown from MAC and the same 228 um, Ziva brush. For the upper lashes I used that a mascara from Maybelline in Total Temptation, um, this is black. As usual I left the eyes for now and I did my base, I applied here my moisturizer which is the La Roche Posay Tolerian Ultra and then a face primer, the La Basse Pro from Lancome. My foundation today was this uh, absolute perfection from Art Deco, it's not called like that, I named it like that but I think it deserves the name, it's the oil free long lasting foundation in the shade 30. And you guys if you want a really long lasting full coverage foundation uh, which doesn't look powdery at all, it doesn't cling to any dry patches or emphasizes the fine lines then this is the one. Oh and for concealer I also went for a good one, this one is the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in the shade Medium Custard. I apply that underneath my eyes and where I have a bit of redness down my neck and over that I went with the same Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I applied it here with a Real Techniques uh, powder brush. So I went a bit heavy duty on the powder today because when I do a smoky eye I like to have like a flawless base. Next I use this Zoeva Contour Spectrum Palette and on a flawless face brush from Bare Minerals I took that shade which is the bronzing shade. Um, I went with this over the cheek area, the forehead and down my neck where I normally apply my bronzing uh, products. Then I did a bit of contouring with the Bedelium Tools brush, um, this is the 945 and that shade from the same palette which is the contouring shade. The light banana color on the same brush I used as an eraser underneath the cheekbone. For highlighter I went with this palette from Colourpop, this is the Gimme More highlighter palette and this this looks suspiciously a lot like the ABH and Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette. I don't know about the 
uh, performance of that one because I don't have it but this one is okay. I reach for this one off camera quite a lot so that's saying something. Right so next I use the blusher from Too Faced, it's the Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush and it's in the shade something about berry. After that I did my eyebrows quickly with the brow liner gel um, from Inglot, it's in the shade 19. I used for this the Art Deco eyeliner brush because I wanted to do like fine hair strokes with it. The base is done which means I'm moving on again to the eyes. I'm using here false lashes, those are from Flutter Lashes and they are in Intoxicating. To line the inner rims of my eyes I used an Avon Super Shock liner in black and I also applied it underneath the eyes for the smoky effect. To support the case I'm also using the soft brown on a Kiko brush and this is going to really soften out that line. And lastly the lips, I'm using here a lipstick from Tom Ford, it's in the shade True Coral. After that I'm going to line them with a lip definer in Dusty Rose from Burberry. And look at that, the look is complete. Thank you guys for watching. So guys, this was my look. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And tell me in the comments down below if you want to see something special, something I haven't done on my channel yet. And I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial now. Bye.